Hey, so what's going on guys? Patient with Drug Tech back again with yet another video for you guys. And this video, I'm going to be looking at the Startron Demon that I have right behind me after 14 months of ownership. So to be exact, it's actually 14 months. I wanted to do a one year review, but I didn't manage to make it. But anyways, better late than never. So in this video, I'll be covering my thoughts and also the maintenance side of this uh, scooter. So this is one of the best scooters that I ever used and also the top of the line for Star Wheels. So this is the highest end uh, scooter you can get from them. So this is currently retailing for slightly below 9,000 ringgit. And honestly, during the time I've been using it, I think it's a really good deal for a scooter. I mean, an electric scooter that's really, really high end, really, really powerful. And it's more for enthusiasts. So I think overall, I think this scooter is uh, something that I really personally like and I use almost every other day. However, I did do some uh, tweaks and upgrades uh, to this scooter. So I'll be showing you that later. But before I begin this video, if you haven't subscribed to this channel already, do hit that subscribe button, enable notifications so you can get notified on the latest videos which I post. So without further ado, let's get right into the review of the Startron Demon. Alright guys, so a little background is that I'm actually shooting this on the brand new GoPro Hero 9 Black and I really do love the front screen to be honest and I can really really see myself even though I'm uh, quite a distance from the GoPro It's pretty noisy, I'm not sure whether the mic is picking up my voice well but this is uh, audio from the internal mic as well Alright, so right here I have the Startron uh, Demon with me and honestly, this is my most favourite scooter I mean I've tried so many other models to be honest and I think this scooter really fulfills my needs especially in terms of the power department because honestly the power on this is insane of course uh, even if you leave it stock without doing any tweaks I think this scooter really really impresses me even till today but of course during the one year period there was a big mishap I would be talking about that later but other than that basically it's uh, very reliable and I do really love this scooter and due to my weight I think I really do need a very very powerful motor so I think this scooter really fulfills my needs in terms of top and in terms of uh, basically power and uh, handling wise I'll be talking about that later so I did do some tweaks uh, to improve the handling alright so when it comes to maintenance uh, this scooter basically has uh, almost zero maintenance in the one year of ownership and I think that's a very good thing especially if you're investing in a scooter and you want to use it for the joyride purposes basically you want to you want to chill you want to hang out with friends who have scooters you want to join the group and you're worried about the cost of this scooter the biggest cost uh, of buying this scooter is basically the price of the scooter itself so you're looking at around eight to almost nine thousand ringgit uh, excluding all the accessories of course the back is uh, given free by star wheel so that's basically a general accessory i did add the nice uh, handle grips as well handlebar grips and i think these handlebar grips are pretty cheap and easy to get on lazada so basically you can get a lot of accessories for bicycles and fit this on this scooter right here so you can save a ton of money right there and of course your helmet as well and of course if you do ride a motorcycle that's not going to be a problem you can use a motorcycle helmet and ride the scooter as well it's the same thing but i don't ride a motorcycle so i had to get a helmet so my purchase cost besides the scooter was the helmet then basically was these grips here because the original grips i feel like are too small for my hands my hands are pretty big and the gloves as well these gloves i got from decathlon so i'm not sure whether you know decathlon but it's a pretty big um store where they sell all kinds of uh, sports equipment so decathlon cheap stuff you can get them really really cheap these handlebar grips are ordered from lazada so they cost around maybe about 20 or below 20 ringgit around that so it's, it's not too expensive uh, if you do want to go for better aluminium ones that look nicer and maybe add on some uh, mirrors as well to see what's going on at the side of you that would definitely be helpful as well but of course i didn't add because i don't want too much things on my scooter i want to keep it simple and nice all right so the the only thing that i modified for this scooter is basically suspension uh, let me let me take the camera and show you right here so basically you can see the suspension right here so i actually changed this the reason i did this is because i feel the original suspension it's uh good in terms of comfort but in terms of handling that's where the shortcoming of this scooter is when you take fast corners especially with the original suspension bear in mind this is the version 1 of the Startron Demon there is the version 2 now which actually fixes all those issues which I'm going to talk about now so I think version 2 it comes with this uh, suspension stock but mine had to improvise and actually modify it to fit they actually had some trouble with some uh, I guess some, some mounting nuts or something like that there's some problems with that so basically the only thing I did was this and let me show you the back as well so this so you can see i'm not sure whether it's catching in the sunlight because it's a pretty hot day so basically these are the things which i did to improve the handling and i think this suspension really helps in terms of cornering 
So the things I like about maintenance wise is basically if you are like me and uh, you do take care of your scooters but of course you do have a fun time with it because I mean these scooters are meant for fun and you do have a fun time with it but you do maintain it well, you do keep it clean you basically do your basic maintenance I think it's going to be really really cheap I mean even after 14 months of using it I've never ever changed my big pads, I've never changed my tires and this scooter has covered almost a thousand kilometers which is impressive I mean thousand kilometers without changing the brake pads without changing the tires I think it's pretty impressive and it for 14 months without spending a single cent that's impressive man so the difference between the version 1 and version 2 of this scooter is basically the handlebar the whole uh, stem if they call it the stem so the stem is the retractable I should say retractable you can adjust as well and the handlebars can fold it's different from the version 2 the version 2 is basically static so you can't really do anything much except for changing the length of the handlebar changing the joints maybe to make it a little bit higher from my experience after trying the version 2 actually I do not really like the version 2 is because I'm not able to adjust the handlebar and I do like to adjust my handlebar because I'm tall and I like to make sure it's like around my chest height roughly around my chest height and I think that's a comfortable position for me let me give you a close like, look at the tyres so you can see the tyres have still a lot of tread on them I opted for the street tyres I should say street tyres so these are the sort of semi-slick tyres and you can see the condition of the tyres after 14 months really really good okay the thing which I talked about which was the big mishap was basically the battery so one day while I was riding uh, pretty far away from my house the scooter basically died on me I have no, sh no idea why so when I sent it back to them I found out that it was the BMS problem battery monitoring system or something like that so what happened is it, it basically shorted out I guess and then the whole scooter basically couldn't charge and couldn't retain the charge as well so while I was riding it just decided to break down halfway and I had to push it all the way back but anyway that's beside the point the point is that the battery costs 3,000 over ringgit like 3,000 plus to 4,000 ringgit I mean that's insane price but of course it was under warranty so I had it replaced and what they told me was basically when you charge this scooter it's not like charging your phone when you charge your phone you basically plug in the phone and then on the charger right but in this one, you can see these two charging ports here, so you have dual chargers. What you do is that you on the charger first, and then plug it in. Because basically if you don't, then uh, it might short because it's, you know, the, the, it's very high voltage and high amperage. It might cause some shorting issues and then it will damage the BMS. So that's a, that's a tip for you there. If you do want to take care of a battery and make sure it lasts long. So you can see the specs of this motor right here. So it's dual motor, 1600 watts. So it's front and rear, so it's dual motor. And these motors are pretty good. I did do some tuning. I asked uh, actually Star Wheels to do some tuning for me so that I can get a pretty good torque throughout the, the speed range, I should say. So I think the torque wise is okay. But if you don't tune it, I think it's also okay because if once you start tuning it, that's where you will not get a balance between eco mode and turbo mode. The only difference will be actually going with a single motor and a dual motor. That's when you actually feel the difference. But if you maybe stop, I bet there'll be a much bigger difference between eco and turbo mode. So that's a slight drawback but I mean I'm always riding on turbo mode anyway so it's not really going to make a big difference but of course if you're a beginner scooter rider you will definitely want to start with the eco mode first so and I think that got changed was the controller right here so this one actually the first version the first batch actually came with uh, if I'm not mistaken a uh, color display so basically the audio screen really sucked you couldn't see your battery percentage you couldn't see your speed at all when you're riding because of the angle naturally being a colored screen it is not that good so this is actually a liquid crystal display something like what you get in your calculator so it can be seen at any angle I should say so it's pretty good a good improvement right there so in my version of this scooter compared with the first one which I reviewed like a really really long time ago that was actually a prototype so actually this version has signal lights but honestly right here you can see they're actually honestly very very dim and I honestly don't really know why the purpose of the signal light is the only time you can see the signal light is at night so the version 2 has the signal light at the side right here so I think that's a big improvement but then that the lights the horns everything works fine by the way this is actually water resistant as well so you can actually spray I guess some water and get it washed up but not with soap not sure whether washing this with soap would actually damage the scooter so other than that I think I can really recommend this scooter I mean for that price you can actually buy a motorbike or even second motorbike for high, half the price but having a scooter is very different because number one you don't need Rotex, you don't need license you don't need insurance but of course insurance is a good thing but you don't have insurance because this is not registered under JPJ but this also really will be registered under JPJ because there is a chassis number available if they do implement the law on riding e-scooters you know you know the Malaysian government does all this kind of stuff so honestly using it for a year I think I can highly recommend this scooter for the price 
you can check this scooter out at uh, starwheels.com.my if I'm not mistaken I will leave the link in the description so you can check that out they have a lot of range of scooters if this doesn't suit your budget I would recommend the Mini X as well the Mega is a pretty old design so I don't know whether I would recommend the Mega but honestly I used the Mega like a slightly one or two months longer than this scooter and the Mega never actually broke down on me but the battery is getting kind of a weak as you say it doesn't really hold the charge that long as compared to this, this is um, basically a new cell I will honestly get the Mini X because I think it's a good price between uh, cost as well as uh, the basically the design is a modern design and you can customize it as well they offer customization services if you're planning on buying this version 1 second hand I would say that uh, basically you better get the suspension fixed get a suspension modified this suspension costs around what 6 to 800 ringgit I'm not very sure of the price but uh, anyway, I got my uh, modified and upgraded so I think this really improved the handling and also do tighten the stem as well to make sure no accidental turns I guess that's it for this scooter I hope you did like it if you did like it, do hit the thumbs up button and also consider subscribing to this channel for more content just like this one I will have the Apple Watch Series 6 coming this weekend so I might be a bit late in posting this weekend's video so it might be on Sunday because the Series 6 comes on Saturday if I'm not mistaken the ETA is like this so can't do anything but anyway I'll get the video out soonest and I'm also getting the iPhone 12 Pro and the 12 Pro Max as well so do stay tuned for all content on those devices so thanks guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video